Hello my friends, welcome back to Aromas. My name is Jose. This is gonna be another fragrance review and this fragrance review is gonna be a Leighton Royal Essence from Performs de Marley. Why did I pick this fragrance? Because this is a fragrance that I've owned for quite some time. It's a fragrance that I've enjoyed and it's a really nice addition to my collection. So without further delay, let's start. As I told you before, this is going to be a review on Leighton Royal Essence from Performs de Marley. Right before we actually jump into the review, I'm just going to give you a quick uh, history lesson regarding Performs de Marley. This is a house that is actually not that old. Uh, on their emblem, you can see two horses, you see a shield, and you see a number. Uh, you, you see actually see a date, which is 1743. This uh, actual house is not that old. This house is, is, is actually inspired on Louis XV, which was a, a French king. Uh, Louis XV enjoyed a lot of things, but two of the, his major things that he enjoyed was fragrances, which he was so obsessed with though, with fragrances that he would actually order to get a new fragrance each day, and also horses, especially uh, uh, actual horse breed that he was working on or that he actually made. Okay, and also he and he actually owned a house or a castle that was called Chateau de Marly or Castle de Marly. Okay, so this is where you actually start hearing the the name Marly. The number 1743 actually comes from a specific date where he was actually honoring his grandfather Louis the Fourteenth, and he ordered for uh, an actual sculpture to make some horses of actual marble. They they actually placed them on the Chateau de Marly, and. Uh, these horses are actually called horses of Marley. I'm just gonna put a quick picture regarding that here. They're actually not on the Chateau de Marley anymore. They're actually they they moved them they moved them somewhere else in, in France. But uh, this is a a little bit of history lesson regarding Perfumes de Marley. So let's start with the review. Uh, this fragrance is a fragrance that has been in my collection for quite some time. I really enjoy it. It's a fragrance that is actually not that versatile. This this fragrance is a fragrance that I do consider that you can uh, wear it more at night and in cold weather. But it's a really uh, people pleaser. It, you for sure will get compliments with this fragrance. Especially as a dating fragrance, women will enjoy this fragrance. Okay, uh, regarding this, it's a fragrance that was actually released in 2016 from the niche house Performs the Marley. The, uh, the actual designer of this fragrance was Hamid Meredi Kashani. Okay, and as I told you, it's a, a fragrance from Performs, Performs the Marley. Okay, it's a fragrance that I would actually describe it as fruity, floral, and spicy. If by any chance I would give it three three actual words, those would be the words that will actually describe this fragrance. And I'm gonna give you the notes really quick, and this is why I actually can smell that on the fragrance. Okay, so as top notes, you'll get mandarin, apple, lavender, bergamot, so then you're getting the, the actual fruit part. The actual heart notes, you'll get violet, jasmine, and geranium. You're starting to get the, the flowers. The base notes will be giac, wood, patchouli, sandalwood, cardamom, vanilla, and pink pepper. So that's why uh, those are the actual notes of the fragrance. So it's a really nice, rich fragrance. And I'm just going to show you really briefly the, the box where Leighton comes in. I really enjoyed all the boxes from Perfumes and Marley. I think they go into so much detail with them. They're really nice, especially here on the front. You see a lot of, a lot of chrome. You see the Leighton, you see the, the shield that I was talking to you about, the horses, and I think it's a really nice box. Most, uh, in this case, all the boxes from Performs and Marley, they do come like this, and they're really, really classy. They look really nice. Okay, let's look at the back. Here you're gonna see the same thing, Performs and Marley, and a little bit brief history regarding, re regarding the actual niche house. And, as, as I said, it comes from France. On the bottom, you're going to see here the, the actual lot number. 
and on the top on the top you'll see the shield again with the legend of 1743 and performs the marley okay let's open the box really quick one of the ma the first things that you'll see when once you open the box you'll see a, li a little paper here and it actually tells you the history of performs the marley so by any chance if you ever buy a performs the marley you can always read the actual history and another thing that's really nice regarding the box as soon as you open it here on the cardboard is not really detailed but you can still see see the shield and the horses let's open this and immediately you see the shield again again performs the marley it's 1743 and this is actually the the bottle cap and it's one of the the things that i really enjoyed of this fragrance this is going to be the actual bottle so i told you i really like their caps i really like their bottles i think they look really nice they're really classy bottles one thing that i really like from performs the marley is that all their fragrances their their actual uh, men fragrances they do come on the same bottle style they do have the same style on the cap they will change the material of the cap they will change the color of the bottles but everything else is exactly the same okay so it's something that i really enjoyed from them another thing that you'll notice once you actually get a bottle of this is that the cap is actually really heavy it's a really a heavy metal like it's metal and it's a really heavy a uh, cap okay so another thing regarding the the bottle it has a really nice sprayer it has a really really strong nice sprayer i'm just gonna use one really quick so you can see it i hope you can see it you see really nice sprayer really nice fragrance i really enjoy it okay as i told you i really enjoy it it's a really good compliment getter i don't see this fragrance as a really versatile fragrance i actually think this fragrance more as a night fragrance dating fragrance maybe into the cold uh, winter weather but technically you can use it all throughout the year but mainly at night i don't see this fragrance as actually a daily user Especially if you're not, if you're using a, a sport or a casual clothes, I see this more whenever you're actually dressing up. If you want to dress to impress and smell to impress, this is a fragrance for you to wear, and it, that's my my honest opinion. Okay. Another thing regarding this actual fragrance is the cost. It, as I told you, it comes. It, it is a niche in niche fragrance, so the cost will be a little bit high. So, if by any chance you're interested in buying it, it 3.4 ounces of this of this fragrance will be around the two, 280 to 300 dollars for a bottle. As I told you, 3.4 ounces. It, it's a really nice, a really nice fragrance but definitely it would be something that i would suggest you to smell it first before you buy it smell it try it don't do it as a blind buy it is a nice fragrance it is it is it is appealing a lot of a lot of female like it you do get a lot of compliments but a, every, every person is different so my honest opinion i would not suggest this as a blind buy i actually bought it as a blind buy at first i didn't enjoy it as much but as later as i kept using it i actually started seeing the beauty of it it does have a good longevity it's a, a really strong fragrance it's a fragrance that will give you 12 to 24 hours on clothes and will give you from a, in this case from 8 to 10 hours on skin depending on how hot it is another thing that is that is good is it has a good projection so a lot of people or whoever is around it for sure will smell this fragrance it has also a good siash whenever you're actually walking you'll leave a really nice trail of this scent and a lot of people enjoy it so for sure you don't have to be really close to people for, for people to to actually smell this fragrance and one of the things that i really liked about this fragrance is that one of the compliments that i got that i really liked was that they told me this is a fragrance that smells a like a rich guy so it's it's definitely something that will give you the confidence to to feel more empowered sexier and rich 
This is how would I uh, how would I describe this fragrance? This was a review on Layton Royal Essence from Perfumes de Marley. It's a really nice addition to my to my fragrance collection. I really like it. I really enjoy it. I've worn it for quite some time. It's actually something that a uh, a bottle will last you for a long time because I told you it's not that versatile but for when if you're actually using it on the perfect occasion it's a fragrance to wear it's a fragrance that will actually make you smell nice and will bring you up a lot uh, regarding or will actually make a difference with anyone around you this is something that is nice one thing I've actually used it for clubbing a lot and as soon as you walk in a lot of people will turn especially females they will actually turn and will try to find out where is that fragrance coming from so it's a really good thing so this was the review on Leighton Royal Essence uh, from Perfumes de Marley I am hope you're liking the material I'm hope you're liking the channel so if you do please subscribe please watch the other videos that I have already on my on my channel and if you're liking this video please give it a thumbs up if you're if you see this as a suggestion to any of your friends please share this video and until next time this was Aromas